Let's see if we can save another marriage with this recipe I saw all up on the TikTok. We're going to take us a chuck roast. You're going to need that. Some yellow mustard. Any kind of barbecue rub of your choice. Your favorite uh, barbecue sauce. I like to make stubs and sweet baby rays 50 50. You're going to need some cherry, Dr. Pepper. And if you can find it, get you some cherry wood chips for your grill. We're going to. We're gonna cut this up and cook it on our grill. We're gonna we're gonna make like a pulled beef of it. I don't know, girl. All right, we got our roast cut up into big old chunks. You want it to be, you know, pretty good sized chunks. Mine aren't very even or pretty, but uh, I did the best I could. So. Anyway, just cut it into big chunks, and then we're gonna we're gonna cover. We're gonna slather it with some mustard as a binder, and then we're gonna add our uh, barbecue rub to it real good okay. all right now that we got it all slathered up in mustard uh you want to put some kind of a seasoning rub barbecue rub something i'm using this here i've never used this before uncle chris texas barbecue rub sounds good to me uh but you can use whatever you want but uh you just want to make sure you coat the pieces real well with that whatever you're using and flip them over and do the other side too and then we're going to put it on the pit and cook it. Uh, I'm trying to cook it about two to three hours on the pit with some cherry wood. All right, I got my pit lit outside. Now I'm just soaking my uh, wood chips. I always soak my wood chips in some water uh, to hydrate them up. And uh, it helps them burn slower and smoke more, which is what we want. We'll get a lot of smoke. All right, I got my cherry wood on top of the coals. And I got the meat off to the side where it's not on top of the coals we're just going to keep it like that cover it we'll go cook it for about two hours out here on the pit if i can two to three whenever my coals run out girl so <clears throat> our roast has been on the pit for three hours and it's burnt and crispy because these are it's like a burnt ends pulled beef sort of thing it's very hot <clears throat> but that's what it should look like almost like beef jerky okay so our oven is now ready it's 300 degrees preheated our oven now <clears throat> if you don't have access to a smoking pit you could do it on a probably a gas grill on an offset but let's say you have no pit at all like you live somewhere terrible um <clears throat> you could probably use a little liquid smoke and just bypass the whole smoking thing uh and then just grill it uh, in your oven, yeah. If you want to be just awful, but you, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying to help the people who live in uh, Siberia or somewhere or uh, Wisconsin. Uh, so okay, so now what we're gonna do that we got them. They've been on the pit for three hours. They're all crispy. Grow this one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. Okay. So we're going to put some barbecue sauce. Or like I said, my favorite barbecue sauce is mixing these two 50-50. Okay. So we're going to just drizzle a little bit of the stubs with this sexy black band on here. I'm going to dribble some stubs on top of each piece. All right. Just like that. Then I'm going <clears> to <throat> put some sweet baby rays on top of, of that. It's more thicker, like a squeezy bottle. We're just going to squeeze it all up in there. Okay. Okay. Now... This is what they said to do, girl, so I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, cherry Dr. Pepper in there. And I'm assuming I'm going to pour it. Ooh, girl. Sometimes I ate a lot of beans uh, the other day, so I got a lot of gas. So I'm just going to pour enough of this cherry to kind of halfway cover the meat, not completely over the top. I don't know. That might be too much. About right there, I guess. I don't know. 
Uh, then we're going to put it, we're going to cover it. And we're going to put it in our oven. And I'm thinking it's going to take probably about two hours. I'm guessing. We'll see. Let's cover our little Dutch oven. And we're going to put it in the oven at 300 degrees for at least two hours. We'll check it. Okay. All right. So this is what it looks like after I shredded it up. Taste, see where we're at. Let's do a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. I think we saved another marriage with that. Heck, yeah, thumbs up. Um, like I said, if you don't have access to a smoker I think you could marinate it in a little uh, liquid smoke cook in the oven probably have a, a near result but this is good hell yeah give it a try see you on the next video like and subscribe